Hey guys, so uh, today I'm doing a uh, makeup for glasses, um, natural eyes, and I've already done um, face, and the next one is going to be colourful makeup for glasses. The first thing I'm doing is highlighting my eyebrow, my brow bone uh, with a white eyeliner, and you can blend this out by using your ring fingers or a concealer brush. As you can see I'm doing that now. <coughs> Excuse me. And doing this with white eyeliner it gives it a lovely highlight but it can take a while to uh, yes, uh, blend out completely without it looking like it's some cloudy thing or I don't know but it looks very white so you have to be careful when you're highlighting blend out properly and well so because highlighting is nothing that you can do in one minute so uh, what I'm doing now is I'm taking a uh, body shop I'm taking a small eyeshadow brush and the Body Shop eye palette in Zero One Twilight and I'm taking the colour uh, Pink Champagne and it's this frosty finish uh, champagne colour and I'm just putting a bit on the uh, brow bone where I put the eyeliner uh, sorry, the uh, eyeliner the white eyeliner to just give it a bit more of a skin coloured look so it isn't so uh, fierce or harsh to look at. So I'm just getting the uh, concealer brush, yes, the concealer brush, and just uh, blending those two together. So I've just found out that uh, I had a bit that wasn't by the eyebrow with the white eyeliner. But now I'm just getting a uh, eyeliner. Actually it's like a smoky eye stick but it's an eyeliner and it, I'm putting it in, I'm just, I'm just going to call it a duo eyeliner. But I'm putting that in the uh, inner corners and the outer corners of my eye. And uh, it's a Barry M1. It's like special edition. Uh, yes, and it's like a, uh, it's a rosy metallic kind of colour. It's a good highlighter. Now I'm just getting the same pink champagne colour from the Body Shop palette, and I'm putting it in the same places, and I'm blending out. This is one of the places where you have to blend out quite delicately, and well, because it is such a, uh, you know, <laughs> such a delicate place. And I'm also putting it a bit under the lash line. Now I'm just getting a skin colour colour from Max Factor. Uh, my skin colour colour. And this is in... 102 almond I think I don't I don't really know uh, it's something to do with almond anyway that's my skin color and I'm just putting that on my lid I'm just showing you. Now we're getting uh, a Max Factor light bronze eyeshadow colour in Inca Bronze. Sorry about the noise. I'm putting that on the outer half of my eye with a slanted. Well, not just like I'm doing it slanted, as you maybe can see diagonally
Yes, it was uh, 102 armored the skin color. I just had a little look. Now I'm getting a dark, uh, dark brown from Max Factor uh, with a small eyeshadow brush, and it is 105 Terra Firma. And I'm just doing circular motions on the outer third of my eye and half of the crease. Oh, not circular motions in the crease, just half of the crease and circular motions on the outer third of the eye. I'm just doing that with the other part of the eye and just looking to see if it's good enough with my glasses. Now I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply mascara and I'm using Max Factor Masterpiece, Masterpiece Mascara and if you're wondering what I did with my skin please look please have a look at uh, the uh, makeup from glasses face if you like the bronze uh, highlighting and all sorts of my skin so I've just applied the master Max Factor masterpiece mascara on my upper and bottom lashes I'm doing it on my bottom lashes bottom lashes because uh, then it will you will see them a bit more and it will extend it will extend the lashes. Oh, not extend them, but make them more visible. And yeah. Oops. Sorry about that. If you heard that. Now I'm just getting a eyeliner from Wet n Wild, and it's a dark grey eyeliner, uh, Kajal and eyeliner, and it's two charcoal. And I'm just putting it on the outer corner of the eye, and using a smudger to smudge it all the way to the inner tear duct. As you can see, my eyes, they look a bit more dome or whatever, deer eyed or thing. But now I'm just getting my waterline and a white eyeliner and putting the white eyeliner in my waterline, on top of my waterline. I'm just checking to see if it looks okay. This is a nice look for even people without glasses, I think, anyway. So that's that, and yes. Whoops. Uh, I just had to say that, uh, I was, did say that uh, you could, if you wanted to define your eyelashes a bit more, use uh, Maybelline, uh, use a uh, eyeliner, uh, liquid eyeliner, and I just use a Maybelline New York, uh, yes, eyeliner. 